My father. I was going to call him. He worked at the New Rasta Cafe in New York. He still loves me from 10,000 miles away. Unconditional love, that's what we give each other, flesh and blood from 10,000 miles away. But hey, let me tell you about Carol Kennedy. Carol Kennedy's a go-getter. She's an entrepreneur. She has a unique eye for popular fashion. She knows a market when she sees one, and she's an icon of success. And she had an idea. She's only ever had one idea. She found a picture of Bob Marley on the internet. She turned the picture into a black silhouette and printed it on a yellow canvas tote bag. Simple, striking, rasta, but not. She'd never listened to Bob Marley, didn't know who he was really, just liked his silhouette. And apparently so did other people, particularly the Japanese. So she sold millions of tote bags to Japan. But that's not enough, that is never enough. She went to Hong Kong, she went to Seoul, she went to Singapore, everywhere she went. People bought the bag, shopping mall after shopping mall, airport after airport, around and around and around. And then the plague came down. Carol Kennedy got on a flight and went straight to New York and went to the New Rasta Cafe to have the coffee and bagels served by my dad. Oh, I can just see him flirting with her. This girl, this, 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 Carol Kennedy. This pretty white entrepreneur that's half his goddamn age. And she smiles. And she flirts. And she travels with this pretty smile. And this faceless, eyeless, blind, black silhouette of Bob Marley printed on a yellow canvas tote bag. And she touched him. She touched him and she passed the plague onto him. Not a young, strong woman, but a frail old man. My father now lives and dies in Calvary Hospital, Brooklyn, New York. I was going to call him, 